Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Blue. It is I, Xylestar, and today a lot of things have changed since the very last time that we've actually played. I'm going to show it off as well. Uh, so you'll probably end up noticing that we have a bunch of TMs that we didn't have before. How did they get in here? Uh, this one is... Nope. Nope, we bought that one. That's not the one I was thinking of. Is it this one? We have three bubble beams, but that's not possible. Bubble beam can only be obtained uh, by beating Misty. So did we beat up Misty off screen or something? Uh, no, we did not beat Misty a bunch of times off screen. Uh, what we ended up doing, or what I ended up doing is that instead, I ended up changing my sort of uh, not rules, but I sort of just added an extra clause for this time. Because of the fact that we've already obtained the said TM. And instead of me just, like, end up giving me a whole bunch of them. Uh, I decided to sort of just give us bubble beams. That way, when we need uh, Squirts here to sort of switch his sort of move pool from, let's say, bubble beam to... Uh, I don't know, Surf or Switch, like Ice Beam for something else or Body Slam to something else, uh, we have that option. I thought I switched something else, though. Do we have three power point-ups? Or did I switch something else out? I don't remember. I know I switched something out. I just don't remember what. And I think I did switch something out for PowerPoint ups. There we go, we're gonna be fully healed again. Alright, so we are going to try and do enough stuff this session. Yeah, let's just try and skip things out a little bit. Alright. Uh you might some notice something different with the video uh sort of layout. Maybe. I might have I might have just impressed myself into how good it was but uh i've actually changed how obs actually handles uh each and every recording now uh i originally had uh what was it one scene i think uh i don't know how it works kind of thing but i had multiple different scenes with different sources and that's how i kind of did everything uh because i'm because i was I was I was new to um, OBS, so it's not like I actually knew what I was doing, and I just remembered what I switched for the PowerPoint ups. But I'll get to that in a second. So I sort of kind of switched it around, kind of thing. So now I have different scenes specifically for each game. So now I can actually keep my volume setting the same for, let's say, uh, Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow, kind of thing. And then for when we're doing uh, a different game, we'll have a different volume setting specifically for that game. There is only, I think, two, I think, that I skipped over. Yeah, I think there's two that I skipped over. Uh, one was Borderlands 3, but that's because I don't really have any reason to record Borderlands 3 right now, so there's no really point in me setting it up beforehand. And also, I kind of uninstalled Borderlands 3 because I'm not going to play it on my own time anymore, and plus it freed up space, so it's fine. I mean, I can, un I can install it for a short time. But why? Like, why would you just add a game temporarily just so you can uninstall it later? Oh, this feels so good. I don't have to use a text document anymore. Uh, the one sad thing, though, is that, like, uh, what ended up happening was that it changed my... Uh, my hotkeys for each and every one. I guess this is so that though it's much easier to like so you can manage different ones. But I wish you uh, I wish you could also just sort of copy certain settings around. Uh because literally I had to do all of this setting up by hand. 
which is very very well just not very, it's not difficult but it was very very time consuming because i had to go back and forth kind of thing and i had uh i had to load two different obs's at the same time and it does not like that by the way it wants you to have one instance opened up and that's it it doesn't want you to open up two it doesn't want you to open up three it wants you to have one open and i had a little bit of an issue with it because it kept having the video from uh so the one that already had it done, because that's the one I was always using, kept having the video before the one that I was trying to make sure it works. So I had to close that one each. So I had to close that one every time just to make sure that it's actually recording the right video, which is very, very like uh, annoying to keep kind of recycling it over and over again. But it works now, so I'm very happy. I'll probably uh, like repeat th the same message over with the different series as well. So, you're gonna have to hear me repeat it for the other ones. And I'm not just so happy that I actually got it to do that. The only thing is that I was trying to figure out if there was a way you can actually switch one of the uh, the layouts to actually show the different uh, like the different sort of like scenes that I have instead. So I can switch between the game like just a click of a button rather than just like going through a drop down menu then clicking it. That's fine. Also that I just remembered what I switched the PowerPoint ups from. So anytime we picked up a, uh, what's it called, um, uh, calcium or whatever, uh, we can switch it for uh, PowerPoint ups. That's what I decided. That's what I'm going to go with. I kind of forgot that I thought of that. Then again, this was done like, what, a week ago? When did I record the last session? Okay, so the game slow does go. Okay, I'm so used to a different one that it just doesn't like it. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, it's under complete last session. Let's see here. Actually, it was like three weeks ago. So three weeks ago was the last session, and. So yeah, so I definitely want to remember it if it was three weeks ago. Especially something as mundane or as tiny as switching the, like, the, like, the EV gained uh, vitamins to PowerPoint ups. Like, it's something so small you wouldn't even realize is there. Yeah, I'm just going to check something real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to change that a little bit. And I also changed my OBS to be more, like, more small kind of thing, so I can keep track of it. And it's not, like, taking up a lot of the screen like it used to anymore, which I'm very happy for. Uh, we got a castle here, Ice Beam. Yeah, so I just, uh, also something else I wanted to mention too, because uh, this actually reflects this series as well as uh, Oblivion as well, but I'm going to talk about it on Oblivion when we get to Oblivion, right? But for uh, this, uh, for the most part, I actually got the time, be going intruders, I actually got the time to actually go into uh, making the playlists uh, for uh, this series and well technically red blue and yellow are gonna be in their safe little own sort of thing uh, they're gonna be in sort of their chronological order so since we did Pokemon red first reds first uh, then Pokemon blue then yellow will be last uh, I am thinking of maybe doing it again but with Venusaur so I could s show you guys exactly what I'm talking about that it doesn't have a good move pool in this gen but I don't know yet all right, Cubone's mother has now been calmed and has now departed to the afterlife. Awesome. But yeah, like, I finally got time to actually go take about 20 minutes, I think, 30 minutes. 
to kind of do it, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that I was able to do it. Uh, just right now, I have the sessions all in a playlist. I'm kind of waiting until I get to a certain uh, milestone for each and every one uh, before they also get sort of uh, before they go into the public kind of thing. Uh, I think for... I'll talk about Pokemon Blues, though. Well, red, blue, and yellow. Uh, so when the second session uh, full one, as of the time of this recording, is not actually fully out yet, uh, but when it is out, you will see it publicly. So just in case this comes up before that, you'll know why it's not out yet. So pretty much... Um, Yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, I'll talk about Oblivions during Oblivion. Uh, because it makes more sense for it to be talked about in Oblivion. Since it does reflect that series. Uh, but I will say this before I record it anyway. Because I don't know when that's coming out. Actually, it will definitely be... More, maybe not before this. Uh, for Diablo 3, I'm not making a playlist just yet. I'm waiting till it hits the same sort of milestone that I did with the the original series this kind of thing. So when the first 10 videos comes out, that's when it gets its own playlist. Uh, and when that playlist gets made, so does the Sessions one at the exact same time kind of thing. But the Sessions ones will not be public until I hit a certain milestone kind of thing for that. Come on, there we go. So, uh, the reason why I put these kind of milestones or sort of like these, I don't want to call them roadblocks, but they're pretty, but they're pretty much acting like it, uh, is because if there's only one video, there's not really too much point in having it in a playlist. Because if you want to watch, let's say, uh, Pokemon Red complete, and there's only one out, it's going to be near the top. So there's no point in me. Putting in a playlist and then having that playlist be public. Or in a sense of Oblivion, there's no point in me having Oblivion Session 1 and then showing it off and then having it in its own playlist all by itself. Even though there's going to be more videos in there later on, there's still no point in me having it public because it's still visible. Like, that's how I'm sort of thinking of everything, right? Like, I'm thinking a little bit of head, but... Just trying to make sure that it makes sense in its own sense as well. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get away with this. Trust me, buddy. Yes, I came to save you. Yeah, we're mostly just skipping this because in Pokemon Red we've already did all this dialogue. When we do Pokemon Yellow, I'll definitely do the dialogue. Because I know... I think yellow might have slight changes, but not too far. Or not too much. Okay. So we need to get to, uh, we need to get to, uh, Fusha City, which we'll just head to through here. Okay, there we go. Cool. Fisherman. Cool story, bro. Goldie. Oh man, this is gonna be too easy. Bobby slam. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So tab is speed up. Okay. Again, it's been three weeks. <laughs> my Pokemon knowledge may still be ironclad, but not my Pokemon controls. Uh, I already have the next game uh, pretty much on lock of what we're going to be doing after yellow. 
So we're going to be doing a, a Pokemon Essentials game. We're going to do one that's... I don't want to say famous, because it's not really famous. It sort of got, like, infamous in its own way. But we're going to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I played it, I think, a good number of times. So I actually, like, I'm going to have fun with it. So let's see, uh, what other TMs can we have? 